Hey guys. Okay, so today I have got a foundation for you. This is the Stila Hide and Chic Fluid Foundation. I got this at, I don't even know if it's available anymore, honestly, but um, if it's in your um, TD Maxx store, um, if it's any good, you might want to pick it up. It was $10.99, which I think is a decent price for any, any drugstore slash discounted high-end foundation. <laughs> Um, uh, and I, I know some of you are probably thinking, well, you're a little contradictory lady because the other day you were like, that's too much for a foundation. Well, yeah, but if you can get a higher priced foundation for a discounted price, that seems kind of good to me anyway. So, all right. So it, it says shake well, this is the shade. I think it's fair two, which is crazy because I would usually be negative fair. <laughs> I'm so white, but uh, all right, here we go. So the packaging, very pretty. Um, it's a little bit much, but if you wanted to just kind of set this out on your vanity, like I, in recent days, like an idiot, decided to try and downsize. So I purchased all these little like, what you know, they said they were one ounce, but they're really not. They're probably about an ounce and a half, ounce and a 25, something like that. Um, I purchased all of them because I was like, we're going to streamline. We're going to streamline this makeup desk and I'm going to, put everything in the same bottle. It's all going to be looking because they're all in the same container and it's going to be looking real good. It's not at all that way. And now I'm like, oh, I should just kept all the bottles. But I will say that it probably has saved me on space. Maybe, maybe a little bit. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to look at this thing optimistically. Um, but then it's annoying because like every time I want to find a foundation to show you guys, I'm always showing you a generic pump bottle that I purchased from Amazon. Anyway. Okay. Let's just stop talking about it. Um, but I will say that this is a little bit much, um, but it's not too crazy bulky. I've seen worse foundation packaging for sure. Um, so there's that. Okay. Now, I also recently got, and shall we, I mean, you know what? I might just do this for like a Friday or something. Um, I got this, I forgot to show it the other day in my haul. My mom got me this. This is that buffing foundation brush. Um, it's like all over the Instagrams and you know other such, and it's that really dense, really large foundation buffing brush. I'll save it for a Friday, I guess. Um, but so we're gonna talk about that. So I was gonna use it today, but I was like, I'm like, nah, no, we're gonna do just normal, normal brush today, and uh, I'll save that other one for a Friday. Okay, so let me grab a brush. I really need to wash this one. It's really bad. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to use it again today because I just use it all the time because it's so good. This is the um, AOA Studio High Def Brush F2, okay? Just your standard flat top, but yet angled kabuki brush. It's really nice, actually. Um, I actually like it better than this one, which is the not, I think maybe it was the two years ago, Love is the Foundation Brush from It Cosmetics. This is not unusable. Un oh, it's not unusable. But honestly, the bristles are a little bit more rough than this one. And I got this one for a dollar. Now, technically I got this one for free because it was a gift to me from my mom, but it was still, I want to say it was like seven to eight dollars or so. So for a dollar, I, I don't know. <clears throat> Just putting that out there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this guy out. I mean, it is kind of a lot, I, but if you like, if you have like, like the aesthetic of this, you know, it might be worth it to you. And plus it's $11. Anyway, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay. Ooh, very thin, very runny. This is going to be too light. Oh, wow. It's really light. Well, we'll just see what happens. It is very light. Um, and I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, well, it may actually match me when I'm not tan, but we'll just try it anyway. Um, Very thin. Okay, yeah. Okay, I like the consistency of this. I just feel like I put a lot on though and it's not really translating as like a ton of product. Um, could all be being absorbed by the brush. That is certainly possible. But it could just be like the nature of the product that it's just not that bulky on the skin and just not that much pigment and maybe we don't know we'll find out momentarily but maybe it's just the more you put on the more coverage you get 
excuse me. You guys, if you watch me, you know. As soon as I start touching my nose, my face, my sinus area, there's a never ending drip, I apologize. Okay. Nobody answered me about that though. Like, is it more gross to wipe it or just to keep sniffling? Or are you guys like, we're trying to ignore that. We're pretending you never said that because it's making us a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, um, let's see. What am I looking for? Mirror? Yes, mirror. Okay, this is very runny. Like I'm having to hold my hand in this position so that it won't drip because it's really, really runny. I don't think at this point it'll drip because there's just not enough force for the the amount of product. Um, but yeah, this is, I don't know, I might be able to get away with this even on my tan skin right now because the undertone is looking good. Let's see, it's pretty dark and cloudy today so hopefully you guys will get a good representation. Oh, it looks really pretty though. This is very thin. Like. I would consider this um, a very natural, very natural foundation. You're still getting coverage. You can see the difference. And you can also see like it's it's offering something because now my skin is much lighter than this side. So it's doing something. <clears throat> Oops, that's not the right box. Okay, let's just see what the claims are, shall we? It says shake to activate, so you have to. Oh, and it says use fingertips. I'm not gonna do that. I just, I'm not a fingertip user unless it's a tinted moisturizer. There's some, I have a mental block, okay. Um, discreet, undetectable coverage without the heavy weight, that's true. Light liquid texture, that's true. Comfortably cushioned with a silky breathable feel. Yeah, this actually feels like if you had like one of those um, make your own cushion things, this would work really well because it's so thin. Sometimes like if you're trying to like, you know, uh, use put one of your foundations in one of those make your own cushion compacts um it doesn't work because the the liquid is just too thick or the you know it, it says it's a liquid but it's more like a creamy consistency and so it has a hard time coming up through that little sponge this would be perfect for something like that though because it's r extremely thin like it's still trying to run down um but the only thing is is it says shake to activate so you can't really shake a cushion i guess you could anyway we'll just stop talking about that <clears throat> Okay, skin loving, nurturing botanicals help energize skin for a healthier looking, more refined, even toned complexion, light to medium, buildable coverage, natural satin finish. Um, everything is true except for the coverage. I don't know that yet. Um, I would say light to medium, yes, yes. It's a little bit sticky still, but it is not transferring at all. Let's just go ahead and apply this to the rest of my face and we'll do a real quick test to see of oxidization oh yeah it looks like it yep that oxidized like here you have I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera but in real life this is much lighter less pink um well more orangey a little bit a little bit pink mostly orangey that has that foundation has turned into that too. um upon first application it is looking more on the yellow side of neutral and now it is a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and just, we'll just wipe the whole thing off. We'll get a fresh, fresh pump. Now it's a bit more orange peach, which is perfect for my skin tone because I'm either on the yellow side or I'm on the peachy. I know it sounds terrible, but I am more on the peachy side of things. I do have a problem with foundations being too orange, but we're just not gonna analyze this too much. It is so runny and so thin, like it is really thin. So if you are looking for a foundation that has that texture, um, this one seems good. Um, what is it called, Hide and Chic? Yeah, oh yeah, Fluid Foundation, that makes perfect sense. Hide and Chic Fluid Foundation, if you are looking for something that is very natural, yet still evening and actually offers some coverage. I think this might be your girl. Like it's really, at my age, if it was just a, well, it's a little bit too glowy for my taste, but at my age, this is the type of foundation that would work really well. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is, is again, it's just a bit too glowy for my taste. Um, I uh, can't really tell in this lighting, but in real life, it's looking a bit more shiny. Not as shiny as some of the other products I've tried recently, especially the, um, where did I put that thing? 
this one. Oh, so shiny. The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. They're not kidding when they say glow. This is way glowy. Way, way, way glowy. This is a bit more... This one is a bit more natural satin finish, like like they're saying. I would I would actually consider this, depending, depending on what light you're in, like on camera, it's looking like perfect natural satin finish. In real life, it's a little tiny bit glowier. So I'm gonna add just a bit more to my under eyes, just for coverage. Um, I don't know how to say that, just so that we can see how much more coverage we can get. It says it's buildable. Doesn't smell like anything, no scent. So you can see like that's kind of showing like the shade. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit more on my spots right here. Then I'm gonna grab a brush and sort of blend it out a bit. A little bit more around my nose. Yeah, this might even be like your, um, like a serum, like a serum foundation. I, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say it's more like a tinted moisturizer, but I feel like it's more like, like it says a fluid serum type foundation. I feel like it has a little bit, tiny bit more coverage than maybe a tinted moisturizer. Honestly, I think this would be great for my sister. I should mail it to her. I don't know how well it would work on her now because she was on vacation with me and uh, she's probably just as dark as I am now or darker. Um, we have a similar skin tone. I think she's just a tiny bit naturally a tiny bit darker than I am. But yeah, I think she might like something like this because she says her biggest problem is she's having a hard time finding foundations that aren't too dry and crusty on her skin. And this is anything but that. So I'm going to grab one more close-up look. We're going to check the pores because that's such a big problem of mine. Oh, I can't see anything. It's so dark because of the, it's oh, totally overcast. Oh, it looks good. I feel like it's blurring them, significantly blurring them on that side. This side too, it, my, some of my pores are filling up a little bit with the foundation and I have large open pores on my nose. So that is just, a lot of times that's just something I have to live with. I will say though that this foundation, the matte base pore blurring full coverage foundation from Revolution, this is matte, but it did exactly what it says. It completely erased my pores. I mean, it looked so good. Um, this one also was really good. I won't be able to wear this for a while. Check that out. <laughs> um, <clears throat> for pore blurring, this is the Makeup Obsession London Quick Stick base conceal and contour foundation um this is under the same umbrella as makeup revolution but it is the, their brand makeup obsession inexpensive really good so love that one um all right so um all right i guess that's that i will wear this for the rest of the day update my thoughts in the description below it's looking really nice on my skin honestly like i just wish it wasn't so glowy now i i'll powder it because i powder everything um, yeah, I'm not getting any transfer. You can kind of see the moisture though. Like it is a little bit, some of that moisture is, so what I think what I'll do is I'm going to take a tissue just before we go, just so we can kind of get an idea. I'm going to take one part off, like half of it, and I'm just going to blot. I mean, it's sticking to my face, so there is moisture in there. It's just a little too much glow for me. All right, so I don't know if you can see like a little bit of that, whatever's causing that moisture is coming off, but none of the pigment is coming off. So yeah, for me, that's much better. Um, now, something to keep in mind, I'm sorry this video is so long, but something to keep in mind. This foundation has microscopic shimmer in it, or pearl, or it's not glitter, like you don't see glitter on your face, it just translates as a glow. But when you look at it, <clears throat> you can see the pearl or the shimmer or whatever that's in it. Now please, don't take that the wrong way, it's not glittery. 
but that's what's causing the glow. Um, this one is, that's not what's causing the glow. There's something in this that's not shimmer that's causing that glow, which is why I was able to blot it off. This one you won't be able to do that with. So if you're looking for a very glowy makeup, this is your girl, if it, you can find your shade. Um, but it does have that pearl shimmer and you can see it. I mean, it's, it's microscopic, but it is there. It doesn't look like glitter on your skin, but it's, that's what's giving the glow. Just wanted to point that out because it, I could blot this one. I wouldn't be able to do that with this because it's mixed into the product. It's a part of the product that can't be taken out or blotted off. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, ding my bell, and I'll see you in the next one.